Should I do that? Yeah. We're now live. Yep, there you go. Well, we're, we're just trying to do uh... Hi, this is Patrick Ganner. We're coming live from the Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium here in Sarasota, Florida. And now I take you to the presenters. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sarasota. Hello, our National Drive Electric Sarasota event. How is everyone? I hope we're having a great time. Yay! My name is Chris Sherrick. I am the co-captain of our, of our event here today. It is one of over 180 events going on across the nation today. As you know, these, uh, this is our fourth annual event here, but uh, the, the number of events are growing every year. There are over 3,000 electric vehicles that are registered across the United States. Uh, in total, they have traveled over 44 million electric miles have been driven. And that's enough to go around the earth 2,000 times. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. So I, I just want to invite everybody to, to attend the forums that we're having, the discussions upstairs. Uh, we're having a couple different presentations. Um, ask questions. Ask questions. Ask the questions of the owners and then go test drive one of these things. Go test drive one and have a blast doing it. You'll, you'll understand where we get the enthusiasm uh, as an EV owner. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to a, a good friend, a board of trustee member, Nigel Mole here with Moat Marine. Well, for organizing this, uh, he, he's a little modest, but he's actually done about 99% of the work this year. So I thank him for that in any case. Um, Moat is very happy and proud to support a National Drive Electric Week in 2015. This is the fourth year in Sarasota, but the third year that this is actually being held on the Moat campus here. And driving electric and solar power ties in so nicely with Moat environmental initiatives and the research that we do all the way from the red tide research here down to our Restoring the Florida Reefs project down off of Key West and in the Florida Keys areas. Uh, Moat has been great at providing charging stations here in Sarasota, free of use, to, uh, to our visitors here. Um, and uh, we were actually also the first organization to install the southernmost charger in the United States at the Echo Discovery Center down in Key West. So you can now drive your electric vehicle from one end of the country to the other uh, without stopping. And then you go, oh, we're just stopping to charge. At least you don't have to fill up with gas. Um, I'd also like to uh, thank uh, Commissioner Mason and Commissioner Atwell for their support. Uh, I was talking to them earlier. They've been with us since the first National Plug-in Day that we held here four years ago. Um, and it's grown and grown, but we've had support from the county and from the city all the way through this. And we hope that's going to continue in the future. So, driving electric, it's a lot of fun, but it's also environmentally important. Driving electric, solar power means no gasoline, it means no oil, that means we're not drilling for oil, it's sustainable energy usage, it's better for security, it's better for the country economically, so there's all sorts of things that we're getting out of doing this. And last but not least, of course, the fun that Chris talked about, these are just wonderful vehicles to drive as well. So, thank you for coming everybody, thank you for all the support we've been getting, and now I'd like to turn over to uh, County Administrator, Mr. Tom Harmer, thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you, Chris, for including Sarasota County in this event. I know I had the opportunity to come here last year and, and drive one of the vehicles. I think it was the uh, Cadillac last year, and it's quite impressive. Um, I know we uh, work hard in the county. Our board has been very supportive of sustainability. Uh, and we'll call out uh, Lee Hayes is here, our sustainability manager, and next to her is Brian Daly, our director that oversees uh, UF ISPIS extension programs, which is part of where our sustainability program resides in Sarasota County. And I just uh, want to make a few remarks, but I wanted to highlight, for example, some of the statistics and things that uh, we do to try and make sure we emphasize sustainability in Sarasota County. And we have a green business partnership. It's a coalition with local businesses uh, to operate in an environmentally responsible manner. We have more than 200 businesses that have earned the certification through that program. 
Uh, we also support, obviously, drive electric wheat because we realize electric vehicles reduce dependency on foreign fuels and help support a healthy environment and economy. In Sarasota County, we have over 20 county-owned electric vehicle charging stations that are free to use for the public. Throughout the county, there are over 30 publicly available stations, the majority owned by Sarasota County, but also others owned by the cities of Venice and Sarasota. And if you think about the growth of electric vehicles, that's really, uh, I think, important in how these programs and events can really help educate the public to the benefits. Um, but if you go back just to 2013 and realize there was only 3,100 electric vehicles on the road, and the forecast out for 2022, which is not far away, is over 226,000 electric vehicles on the road. So you can see the growth and you recognize how important the charging stations are and the complete approach to this. We really envision Sarasota County becoming an electric vehicle destination within Florida. We think that helps draw visitors and helps grow our local economy. Um, our own fleet with our SCAT bus system, we have 20 hybrid buses. And then I know on display over here, we have the Ford C-Max, which is one of six vehicles we recently purchased. So if you haven't taken a look at that, please do. And then again, I just want to thank, uh, thank you for including us, Chris, in this event each year. What I'd like to do now is, as I mentioned in the very beginning, our county commission has been very supportive of placing an emphasis on sustainability. Uh, so I'd like to introduce our chair, Carolyn Mason. Thank you, Tom. Good morning or afternoon. Whereas National Drive Electric Week is a nationwide celebration to draw global attention to the environmental, economic, and other benefits of plug-in electronic vehicles powered by clean, affordable domestic electricity, and whereas this year's local celebration of National Drive Electric Week Electrify the Island on September 12th will unite the Sarasota County community as a focal point for electric vehicle use and empower residents and visitors to continue adopting sustainable practices. And whereas National Drive Electric Week, Electrify the Island, will be hosted by Moat Marine Laboratory, a world-class marine research institution with a sustainable energy initiative to support and implement the use of eco-friendly technology in its operations with local event partners, City of Sarasota and Sarasota County and national partners, Sierra Club, Electric Auto Association and Plug in America, representing drivers and supporters of plug-in vehicles. Now, therefore, we, the Board of County Commissioner of Sarasota County, Florida, do hereby proclaim September 12 through 20, 2015 to be National Drive Electric Week presented this 12th day of September 2015. Good night. Thank you. And I'd like to introduce uh, Vice Mayor Susan Atwell. Suzanne. Thank you. Um, Nigel, what was the uh, Tesla model that I drove a couple years ago? I had the honor of driving a Tesla. Oh. The Roadster. <laughs> oh, the Roadster. That was absolutely phenomenal. And that you can get hooked on something like that. It was absolutely wonderful. That's when I began. Uh, getting all this knowledge and uh, passion for this. And, and I bring you greetings from the city. Obviously, we're here in the city of Sarasota. This is wonderful to have it at the iconic place that is Moat Marine. I'm going to read our park proclamation. And before I go, I know the city, I'm about ready to move into a condo. So we're hoping that we can get condos on board to get uh, stations there. And this is something that we're going to move forward with because more and more people a lot of people are moving in the next five to ten years to condos and we need to have stations available for them. Whereas, National Drive Electric Week is a nationwide celebration to draw global attention to environmental, to economic, and other benefits of plug-in electronic vehicles 
powered by clean, affordable, domestic energy and whereas this year's celebration for National Drive Electric Week, Electrify the Island, what a great name for this, I love it. On September 12, 2015, will unite the city of Sarasota community as a focal point for electric vehicle use and empower visitors to continue adopting sustainable practices. And whereas National Drive Electric Week, Electrify the Island, in the city of Sarasota will be hosted, of course, by Moat Marine. A world-class, as Carolyn said, a world-class marine research institution with sustainability energy initiative to support and implement the use of eco-friendly technologies. With local event partners, the city of Sarasota and the county, along with national partners, again, the Sierra Club, Electric Auto Association, and Plug In America, representing, they represent the drivers and supporters of plug-in vehicles. Now therefore, the City Commission of the City of Sarasota, and on behalf of all the citizens of our community, takes great pride in recognizing September 12 to 20, 2015, as National Drive Electric Week, a week of special importance and worthy of this recognition. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Patrick Gannon, one of the uh, co-captains for this uh, Sarasota event, and we want to thank everyone for coming out here. Uh, special thanks to Moat uh, Trustee Nigel Mound, to County Manager, uh, Mr. Uh, excuse me, Tom Harmon, and uh, County uh, Commissioner Chair uh, Mason, and City Vice Mayor Atwell. Uh, also, we have various representatives from the uh, city and county staff. We thank you for being here. Uh, we want to uh, ask a special thank you and applause for all of the sponsors who made this event possible. If you join me in welcoming and thank the sponsors. And most importantly, we also want to thank the owners. We had over 20 uh, electric vehicle owners who came out, and most of them have their cars on display on either side here and really invite you to walk around and talk with them. These are the people who have the experience of what it costs them, why they love it. Uh, it's a great opportunity to, to uh, understand a little more there. We just finished a presentation uh, earlier uh, this morning from uh, Chris Sharrick on the Electric Vehicle 101, everything you wanted to know about it. Uh, we've actually recorded it. We'll make that available uh, online. And at one o'clock, uh, just after this, uh, about 45 minutes, we'll be doing another presentation. It's upstairs, you go through the uh, walkway here, take the stairs up to the third floor, and right across the hallway there is the Buchanan Conference Room. And we'll be doing a presentation on electric vehicle charging in multi-unit dwellings, uh, important for property managers, and anybody that's uh, living in uh, condos or apartments. Uh, what are the issues to getting charging stations there? So we encourage you to uh, come join us for there. And we just uh, thank everybody for turning out today and glad to see that the rain has held off. So thank you all very much.